Krishna, this is the Vara Prabhu again. You know, we know every devotee has a story to tell. I now met with this devotee here. Prabhuji, what is your name? My name is Sikhar. And you are for originally from? I'm from Russia. Russia. Prabhuji, what was your life like before you come to know Krishna consciousness? For Krishna consciousness, uh, my life was like uh, ordinary, you know. Uh, I worked at the, as an engineer in the oil industry. Um, had some hobbies, had some hobbies. But uh, mostly my life was pointless, you know. Uh, meat eating, intoxications, uh, had the weekends beer with the friends, you know, like this. Um, so, so your life was like aimless. Yes, yes, yes. You can say like that. Aimless. So, so okay. So, um, you were you were searching for happiness in in the wrong direction. Yes, yes. So to speak, right? Absolutely. Right. So, what what intrigued you, uh, or how did you get in connection or in contact with the devotees or Hare Krishna movement? Uh, in Russia, we have a lot of uh, strong preachers, uh, you know, and they preach uh, not straight Krishna consciousness, but sattva gun, something like this. And uh, one time, I had the opportunity to visit lecture from uh, some of uh, these preachers. His name is uh, Audarit Hamaprabhu, okay. uh, Oleg Tarsunov, Oleg Gennadyevich Tarsunov. Uh, I was so impressed. I was so impressed in this lecture. I heard that there is God. He is always near you. So this uh, message uh, touched me so deep. Uh -huh. So couple of months, I was like flying on the wings. Uh, and in his lectures, he mentions uh, Veda knowledge, Vedic knowledge. And uh, of course, I was interested and I googled what is Vedas, Veda knowledge. Uh, so, uh, Bhagavad Gita came out, uh, devotees, Hare Krishna movement, all of this, you know, Google, Google, like, uh, Google is like your, um, uh, your library. Yes, yes, yes. So, so, when you get in contact with the devotees and you heard these like years and you did your research, for the first time in your life you was getting to know who you are, where you came from and what the ultimate goal of this human form of life is. Right, so what probably this question arises in my mind. What do you think your life would have been like now without the mercy of Srila Prabhupada? <laughs> Very good question. Uh, I think. Um, what do you think you might have been doing all now? I don't know. I don't know. No, nothing good, nothing good. Nothing good? Nothing good, nothing uh, auspicious. <laughs> Is it, uh, can you elaborate a little bit? Nothing good? Like, what do you think? You, you know, your life will have been a hellish condition, you will have been pointless, you will have been uh, maybe uh, in a pub, in a, you know, in some... Yes, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe drugs, alcohol, this kind of stuff, you know. Maybe, uh, I feel that uh, when I came back to my previous life, I absolutely understand this was a uh, straight way to hell. So, straight way to hell? Like this, yes. Okay, Prabhuji, if you have to leave a message for the youths around the world to take to this practice of Krishna consciousness, what would you say? Uh, please, please, uh, mm, please accept this knowledge. Please, at least try. So, like a researcher, you know, uh, at least try. Try to chant, try to read Srila Prabhupada books, uh, give it a try and decide for yourself. So, what is this chant that you, you recommend? What is the chant that you recommend? Chant? Yeah. Hare Krishna Mantra, Maha Mantra. Can you say? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So Prabhuji, this mantra is so magical and mystical that it actually brings happiness to the heart? Yes, it cleans our mind, it absolutely changes, changes our karma. And uh, as uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur said, uh, Maha Mantra is like a transcendental flower. Uh, if you chant sincerely, if you chant with all your attention, it uh, gradually opens and uh, uh, you feel this transcendental uh, nectar, nectar smell. 
So, so, so if you have to look at your life previously, being in Krishna consciousness till now, you will see you make a, a lot of advancement. I don't, uh, I can say I am advanced devotee, you know, I'm... No, what I'm meaning, I'm not saying about an advanced devotee. Uh -huh. Advancement from materialistic way of life yes, to absolutely. acceptance of spiritual life. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, I think this shift in mindset, absolutely non possible without uh, great acharyas. So thank you all very much, you heard it from this devotee here. We are right by this gate, uh, the main entrance of... Of um, Sri Mayapur Dham Sri Maya, Ma Ki, yeah. So we are right here, and uh, thank you very much for sharing your your um, information with Hare us, Hare Krishna. Krishna.